Holly family. This is Mandy. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. If you have a doll channel of your own, please let me know. I would be so happy to get subscribed to you as well. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help my videos get out there and get noticed. So it is Monday. Happy Monday, you guys. Um, we are doing two very, very special themes um, that are just for today. And I have dressed up three precious little babies for these themes. So let me explain. There are... Um, like I said, there's two themes today. So first off, there is, um, we are wearing pink today. Normally we wear pink on Wednesdays around here, <laughs> but we are wearing pink today. And that is in honor of our Dolly sister, Lori, over at Reborn Huggles. Um, Lori has been diagnosed with breast cancer. Um, she is strong. She is surrounded by everyone in this hobby who is lifting her up. A lot of us are praying for her. Um, but Karina over at Noah's Ark Nursery has asked us that today in order to just absolutely surround Lori with support that we would wear pink today for our sister Lori. So I have two babies who are wearing pink. Um, so here is sweet little Iona. This is Iona Elise. Iona is the ward sculpt by Irena kaplan -Skaya. And she was done by Beautiful Babies by Betsy. And she <clears throat> is wearing very, very soft, soft baby pink. Let me bring her closer to the camera so you can see her. Isn't she sweet? She is wearing this little knit set, this darling little knit set. It is in the softest little baby pink. It has got little white lace trim. She's got little white lace socks on. And she's got a sweet little hair bow that's got, sorry you can see my face there, that's got pink and green on it. We're going to explain the green here in a moment. But there is Iona. There is Iona Elise. She is so sweet. I love her in this outfit. I love her. I love her. So she sends her love and her support. And we are definitely sending prayers our way to Lori. We love you, Lori. We are here for you. And we believe in you. Absolutely. And then we've got another baby in pink. We have got my sweet little Hera. This is Hera, you guys. I'm wearing a pink nightgown too, by the way. I probably should have gotten dressed. But yeah, I'm wearing like a pink moo moo. It's got a cat face on it. That's not a surprise, is it? <laughs> Let's lean over and pick up Hera. <laughs> okay, come here, baby. So this is Hera. Hera is very special because Hera was a gift to me from another really sweet dolly sister. That is Wren over at Bushel and a Peck Nursery. Ren made her. She reborned her. She put her on a cuddle body. She has special little feet. You can't see them in this sleeper, but she's got special little pointed feet, just like baby Grogu, who is baby Yoda. She's got little green hands with little orange nails. And then she added like blushing and depth to her face. She pierced her ears. She did have beautiful lashes on. And unfortunately, I am not good at like changing babies and keeping those applied lashes on. They fell off. <laughs> but she's got brown hair. So I dressed her in this really sweet little um, sleeper. It's pink. 
and it's got darker pink flowers all over it, but it's also got a lot of green. It's got a lot of greenery. Her sweet little hair bow has pink and green in it. Isn't she cute? She's so pretty. Let's put her back. Okay, let's put her back. Oh, her ear. <laughs> Her ear is just getting right into little Harper James's face. <laughs> so let me explain the second theme that we are doing today. And this one is very close to my heart because I have a lot of experience with this. Um, Linda, over at Linda's Romper Room, has asked us today to wear green to support depression awareness. Um, now a lot of you know that I have depression. I have clinical diagnosed depression. I'm on medication for it. I've been dealing with it since I was a teenager. You know, it, sometimes it comes and goes. My, my, um, my medication definitely help, helps keep it under control. But most of the time, um, most of the time I'm aware of it, but it's not too sharp. But even with the medication, there are times when situations when um, stress, when anxiety, um, grief, um, it can rise up and make that depression uh, much sharper. And so I openly talk on my channel about my struggles with depression and anxiety. So this, this subject is very near and dear to my heart. And so I just want to thank Linda for um, giving us a chance to talk about it. Um, I think that even in the doll hobby, talking about mental health is so important. Um, now, not all of us, ladies and gentlemen, not all of us, but a lot of us have these dolls because they help us and heal us with mental illness, with depression, with anxiety, with empty, aching arms, and um, with, you know, some of us have infertility, some of us were never able to have children, some of us don't have our children with us anymore, maybe they are in heaven, um, or maybe they are just so comforting and so sweet to hold and rock, and they just soothe our souls, and I think that my babies in particular, I know that my babies have been very instrumental to helping me with my mental health. Oh my gosh, you guys, I cannot say enough about these dolls. I cannot say enough about these dolls. <sighs> Pardon me if I get a little emotional, but seriously, you guys, before I had reborns, my grief over my infertility, which led to extreme depression. Um, love, you know, I had to have a full hysterectomy, so I can't ever have children now. Um, there was such a hole in my life and my depression was so sharp and so intense. And these babies have, I still have depression, but let me tell you something, you guys, these babies ease the sting so much. I am so grateful to these tiny little babies, um, for being in my life. I will forever, forever be grateful to my sister, Anne, over at A Colorful Life. Um, Anne's Colorful Life, sorry, and then her doll channel now is Dolls in the Cradle. I will forever be grateful to her for bringing them on her channel and lighting that spark of curiosity in my heart to get one of these because, yeah, they have changed my life. Um, they absolutely do. I love, I love my dolls. When I say I love my dolls, I love my dolls. <laughs> um, anyway, um, but depression awareness. So we have little Mr. He was kind of backing up his two little sisters. Let me lift his arms. <laughs> Here we go. This is Harper James. Oh, you guys look at him bouncing. He looks like a real baby. This is Harper James. He is the Harper by Andrea Arcello. He was done by um, Tiffany Acosta. And he is the original Harper. He's got the original little jazz hand limbs. <laughs> Look how cute he is when he's bouncing. 
he is wearing our green today. So he is wearing this deep kind of forest, kind of olive green uh, knit set from Carter's. Really cute little cable knit sweater, little cable knit pants. He's so cute in this. He's got green eyes and red hair. He's so adorable. <laughs> Oh, Iona, you're falling. You're falling, Iona. Anyway, um, but those are my babies for today for depression awareness and as a big hug and shout out towards our sister Lori over at Reborn Huggles. So those are our babies for today, you guys. So we love you. Take care, take care of each other, and we will see you in the next one, all right? Oh, Harris says bye too. Harris falling over. She's falling over. <laughs> so we love you guys. Take care. Take care of each other. We'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.